Hi and welcome to a nerd of gamers, the game today we're going to look at is Ford X2. For more information about the game you can check out the description below. Let's get started then. At the core of the game is a mechanism by which the player has to fence off sections of the gameplay area by encompassing it on all four sides either by using already claimed areas or by newly created lines. We first see this gameplay mechanic appear in the game Kicks released in 1981 in which you had to take control of 75% of the game area whilst avoiding having the lines you were creating being hit by the moving enemies on the screen. To create lines the player must move their character into the gameplay zone, the speed at which depends on the environment they find themselves in. Swamps Rivers and lakes restrict movement making the player travel more slowly whilst roads and plains are amongst the fastest types to move across. These new lines act as the boundary by which the player captures new territory and also acts as the player's weak point. Should any of the moving enemies or ranged weapons hit the line at the time of creation then the character is killed, a life is lost and all progress on the line is lost. Enemies can include creatures wandering the area in a semi-random fashion, flying dragons which when pointed towards you home in your direction and towers which fire a shot at your location at periodic intervals whilst you are creating lines. Having successfully surrounded an area it is considered captured and any pickups are instantly applied and any hostile obstacles are removed from the game. Power-ups include such things as a speed boost which allows you to travel more quickly. Stop which causes all enemies on screen except turrets to stop what they are doing and stay there making it easier to capture them and catapults which will destroy one previously targeted tower. Each level the difficulty ramps up a notch as new enemies are introduced, more turrets appear making the onslaught ever more common and barriers such as the terrain or impassable walls start becoming more frequent on the map. A level is finally completed when the central pickup guarded by the turrets is captured, a special bonus is awarded if the player is able to capture the tower without losing any lives. Okay, so that's been a quick look at Fordex 2, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.